Assalamu alaikum. Invite endless blessings into your home. Please subscribe now. The button below. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Ati Allah Ati Rasul Ula Al-Amri Minkum Wa Ana Abdika La Jisu Da'eefu Miskeenu Zalim Wa Jahalim But for the grace of Allah that I'm still alive, not claiming to be a shaykh or anything. We took a path in which to be nothing. This battle of ours that awliya come into our life and teach us, teach us the wisdoms of the heaven and the game of the opponent on earth. This opponent on earth is shaitan and every agent of shaitan and every type of wickedness and evilness that he operates through. That we are the people trying to reach to the maqam al-iman and in this dunya Allah sent us to reach to faith. Shaitan is here as the other side of the team to make us to fear. So one team is going for iman and the other team is going for fear, they're opposites. One's trying to score, score the goal. So when we say Allah's testing, Allah brings in now huge tests into dunya, you better believe. And at every moment, Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu, amanu. Oh you who believe tomorrow, amanu, your belief better go higher. Tomorrow higher, tomorrow higher. There's no way to be at a standstill because the dunya is going crazy. So it means that shaitan operates through fear. Every medium of shaitan is to bring fear into the heart. Now what happens in the physiology of somebody when they fear? As soon as you believe you're building a shield, this shield of light from your heart is emanating everywhere. When shaitan sees the believer and insan, the natural ability that God has given to His beloved creation which is Bani Adam salam, that they have a shield. Shaitan's job is then if he wants to score a goal, how I'm going to take this shield of faith, their God-given faith, forget about Muslims who try to build their faith is his job is to take faith away. And he takes faith away by fear. So as soon as through his mediums he introduces fear, the physiology of the body immediately begins to drop. The shield is dropping because now you're getting scared. As soon as you're scared your natural shield is weakening, your immune system is weakening, your belief and mental, physical, spiritual health is dropping. And that perfect for his attack because at that time he can begin to fire his arrows. So he's looking, your, your alarm system when it's completely blocking everything he fires hits inshaAllah and breaks. So all he has to do is that, I have to put fear into them because I'm firing and nothing's happening. So from within your own homes every media that you watch and medium that you listen to is under the control. And its intention is to bring fear. As soon as fear comes as if you're dropping your alarm system, dropping your protection, your physical protection the shield will drop, shaitan then begin to fire his arrows into the person. As soon as one of these arrows hits insan the mental state now will come under attack. So he hits the physical state, to put fear, panic, some sort of issue is happening, he attacks insan, then when he fires the next firing is into the brain and the mental state of the person is now affected by a shaitani power. And that's when the shaykhs deal with people, they understand, they see what's happening. The mental state is now in a panic, oh my god I'm so sick, oh my god I'm, I'm going to die, oh my god this is horrible, oh my god my, my throat is itching, oh my god I think I, my nose is running, oh my, oh no, no, no. And then every type of whisper, 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 shaitan is whispering now because he got the arrow in. 
Once he got the arrow in, he's telling you, you're going to die now. You're gone. Finished. Bye bye. How is this happening to you? How is it going to happen? How are you going to get your money? How are you going to get your job? How are you going to get this? Every type of whispering and fear is coming. From who? From Allah. Allah sends you khatr like that. Rohani send you like that. Angels to sit in your ear and say, oh my god, how are you going to get your money? How are you going to get your food? How are you going to get your this? How are you going to get like this? Never, never, never would anything from the heavens come to doubt Allah This is all shaitan. Anytime you sit and whisper, I don't know they're going to take the kids, I'm going to take a take like this, I'm going to get sick, I'm going to lose my money, I'm not going to have like that, I'm going to like that. You're under a satanic energy. And if you're dealing with the shaykh, the shaykh understands that there's a satanic attack on you. You don't understand, oh, it's not shaitan because you don't understand, you don't even know why your nose is there. <laughs> you think it's just because the air is free. So I breathe, Allah gave me this to breathe. I said, no, there's a haqqaiq of this. You don't understand this, you won't understand why shaitan is in you. The signs are relevant. When, when the talk is coming out, it's showing. A shaitani attack, a shaitanic energy is in you. Anything from heavens doesn't make those attacks, don't make those words. The people of Iman, they're continuously reminding themselves, Allah is my protector, Allah is my healer, Allah is my wali. Allah says, I'm the wali of those whom are sincere. A Salihin, Allah is their wali, is their awliya. If any other awliya says that hey, he can do something wrong against you, no Allah is the wali of every wali. And Sayyidina Muhammad is the caretaker of all of whom he loves. So they don't cut anything, there's no need to fear anything. That your life and death is in Allah's hands, your healing is in Allah's hands. That anything coming to you is by order of Allah because Allah is testing you, watching. So let's see, we put a shield on the person, why they drop their shield so fast? Why when they listen to those things they, they believed in them? So it means Ahlul Iman they come to teach you that you take a isharat of the sign, you say, oh my gosh, look like azab is coming. Not shaitan is coming to do anything, it's Allah's azab is coming. Allah's azab is coming, I run to my home to protect myself from Allah's azab. And I don't want to be in the wrong place at the wrong time, that's tie your camel. Because when Allah sends the rain of, of azab, why you want to be there when it's raining? And He's going to ask you, why you were there? Why were you in that place of azab? So I don't know, took the wrong turn hanging with the wrong people. But for his believers he tells the ant, enter into your homes, why? Be safe, I'm now punishing. No shaitan is doing anything. When Allah punishing, He sends His angels to punish and He allows the shaitans to do whatever they want. Shaitan has no power and no authority. Definitely not over Allah's mukhlas. Those whom are sincere in the way of Allah that is the testing that is beginning. Allah want us to be tested, be firm in your faith, be firm in your practices, be firm in your love, run to the shelter of Sayyidina Muhammad do good, be good, keep good actions, good character. As soon as you start to ramble about this going to go, that going to go, this going to fall apart, everything going to fall apart. They understand, they see shaitan already inside of you, he's playing with your mind. If he grabbed your mind it's very easy, now that he's inside your control panel he can press any button he wants and make you now to feel sick. And now you feel sickness is overcome, everything it becomes psychosomatic. And everything about you begin to fall apart. Because the awliya describe, why? You left the way of Sayyidina Muhammad You left the way of Ahlul Iman. Ahlul Iman they keep their du'as, they keep their practices, they keep their zikrs. 
they keep consistent in their practices, they keep the love of awliyaullah, love of Allah love of Sayyidina Muhammad love of ulul amr. They keep their practices, they keep everything they're doing and everything is in Allah's hands. These are big tests that are coming and that you have to be patient and consistent in your practices. Saying too many times, I'm coughing, I'm sick, I'm sick, I'm sick, psychologically you're sicker than your physical sickness and there's something wrong with you to keep repeating that zikr. Keep saying, I'm doing my zikr, I'm going to do my practices, I'm going to do whatever is necessary. Don't make the zikr of, I'm sick, I'm sick, I'm sore, I'm this, I'm that. That shaitan is playing with you and that's a danger, that's the danger of these days is keep your issues silent because shaitan and Rahman are both listening. But shaitan will unfortunately take advantage of what he's hearing. When you sit and say, I can't stand it when this and this happens, shaitan just said, thank you very much. What was that? Wow that was great, see haq. <laughs> shaitan is listening. Everything you saying you don't like, shaitan is trying to do. Every time you're saying you're feeling a little bit sick and, and voice it out, shaitan is saying, mm, make them more sicker. Put everything upon the person to make them feel like they're sick and then their mind goes lost now in their sickness, oh my God and my panic and every type of panic make every type of difficulty. We said that in, in training for khalwa, when they were training the shaykhs in their khalwa, they would enter to the room and immediately Allah wanted to show the power of the mind and these beings and their effect on your mind. You enter into the room, immediately you're trained for tafakkur, you're closing your eyes, the room is like something opened and 10,000 rats have entered into the room. One if you're not firm in istiqam and firmness in your faith you most likely would jump out the window saying, well, I don't know what the heck these people are doing, I didn't sign up for this. But when you signed up for it there's no running out the window. You sit, keep your heart connected and then these things are all over you, all over you. And Allah don't give them permission to rip your skin but to pinch all your senses, all your senses. So you're seeing it through your spiritual vision which is the most dangerous now and you're feeling it. So for your mind it's 110% real. Now you're not even seeing it. So shaitan does the same thing now when you're watching television, do you see how they're dying? They're dying everywhere. Do you see they're even dying on the floor, <coughs> Why? So now you have a physical image in your head, my God everyone's dying everywhere. They found that later a lot of the pictures maybe were fake. I don't know, that's what some people say. So, visually you're seeing, <clears throat> then you're starting to feel, <coughs> my throat is itching, oh, 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 oh. This was the same like the khalwa, but through spiritual, that they're spiritually training, there's rats everywhere and then now it's trying to bite you everywhere and then your shaykhs are talking to you, make your connection, don't, don't pay attention to that. Keep making your salawats and ignore that, keep making your salawats and ignore that, keep making your salawats and ignore that and then they begin to teach you to push into your heart, take control of the situation. That you tell your mind, not letting these shaitans to tell your mind that these are rats, Fight that shaitan and tell your mind that you're under my control, they're not rats, they're angels. And your heart begin to push a signal to your mind, it's not rats, you're here for Allah Allah doesn't send rats. And everything that you were trained in your connection and your, your making your rabita, all of that so that the madad and support comes into your heart and into your faith to regain your faith. The wild as a want to send rats can tell your mind it's not that and with their madad and support you begin to push into your mind, no these are angels. 
And then you begin to teach your mind that what I'm seeing is all malaika, all beautific visions, whatever you want to think of something beautiful. And then in the zikr as they're touching you say, oh the angels are, are touching me with their wings, how, how cute this is. <laughs> and then shaitan very angry, look he's able to control. He controls through his heart, his mind and the whatever condition we're sending to put fear into him, he is trained to turn it around and make it something beautific. And now Allah sent everybody into seclusion. So then those whom broadcasting now to teach you muraqabah is to survive your seclusion. To survive this time God has given to you, make your madad, understand how to make your connection, keep your zikr, keep your focus, keep your practices. Every time a, a whisper and a doubt enters to your head, oh uh oh my shaykh told me an arrow of shaitan has entered to me because Allah never sends doubt. Angels don't send doubt, mu'min spirits don't teach you to doubt Allah um, They're going to take my kid, they're going to take my money, they're going to take my job, they're going to take my health. This is shaitan. Anything that instilled Fear into you is from shaitan. Rahman instills faith into the heart. When angels come they tell you, don't worry, even your, your legs are falling off, don't worry. Allah loves you, you're going to see Allah, be happy. Everything from heavens comes to confirm the, the love of Allah and that your destination is to Allah have faith in Allah have patience through difficulty and everything is going to be alright. When we understand that then when we look around we can see how these people operate and where they operate like that. When there's cousins of ours they have places of worship and for us to understand what Shaitan is doing psychologically to people because then we can understand how our faith shouldn't be like that. In their places of worship they have their messenger of God with no clothes on like a diaper. They have their messenger of God cut up and torn onto a piece of wood. Then shaitan comes and tells him and tells the people because when you understand how shaitan is psychologically winning, he starts to tell those people, not only is he not a messenger, he's a god. And the people say, oh he's a god? Say, yeah, he's a god, astaghfirullah. But look what I did to him, I beat him up very good. Do you see all those marks on him? I gave that to him. Do you see all the suffering I did? I gave that to him, you better watch out for me. So then those people daily go and they're looking and say, this can happen to God. I have to be scared to death. From who? From shaitan. And they think everything coming is from shaitan. And then it becomes their belief, their aqeedah that everything is coming from shaitan. And that's how he fools people because for us it's like a learning. You're going to say, why would they do like that? Because he's doing something psychological. He raises them from children to say, this person with no clothes on and badly beaten and cut and bleeding is a god. And look what I did to him and if you disobey me I'm going to do a thousand times worse to you. So they fear devils. When Allah said in Qur'an, fear nobody but Allah Nothing comes onto this earth but I punish my creation. There's no devil punishing Allah's creation, Allah punishes His creation. And when Allah won't, He sends the angels of punishment to come and He allows the devils, do what you want with them. They're not doing anything that's not under Allah is that and might and authority. We pray that Allah give us a stronger yaqeen to understand this game that shaitan is playing and to win through it. The ultimate is that we're now in a situation that we have to live and die through this experiment. Whatever is happening upon this earth requires a tremendous amount of faith. 
good character and love and the ability to connect one's heart and control one's mind. Any type of waswas coming from Rahman is always beautific and good. Any type of waswas coming from shaitan is you're doomed, it's over, you're sick, everything's gone for you. As soon as that happened everything drops. We pray that Allah give us always from Ahlul Iman and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad love of Ahlul Bayt, love of Ashab al-Nabi love of awliyaullah fi samahi wa fil ard wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel, your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.